It's news no mother wants to hear. There are times during the birth of my daughter where her heart rate couldn't be detected. Emily Stone says it added an extra layer of stress to an already traumatic experience. If this device was available, it just would have given me greater peace of mind that she was healthy and safe. It is really the first breakthrough in fetal monitoring that we've had since the 1960s. The machine, developed by a WA medtech company, along with researchers from the universities of WA and Sydney, can monitor oxygen levels in babies during labour. We developed a technology that's quite similar to the kinds of sensors that people with diabetes use to measure their glucose in real time. The world first providing more accurate data than the current method, which relies on a heart rate monitor. Sometimes miss babies who are not getting oxygen all that well, and at other times the uh, diagnosis of when they're not getting enough oxygen might be significantly delayed. And the consequence of that for the babies is really devastating. Low oxygen levels during birth can cause brain damage and cerebral palsy, and in extreme cases, death. It allows us to better identify those babies who are compromised, but I think equally as important, um, it allows us to reduce the interventions that we apply unnecessarily to women. It will helpfully halve the rate of uh, emergency caesarean section, which is an, a real profound um, improvement in health outcomes for mothers. The Monitor has been seven years in the making, with the WA government providing funding for its early development. While still in its trial stages, it's hoped it will receive regulatory approval by 2027. Lauren Smith, ABC News.